All right, welcome back. Episode 158 of Chaotically Intolerant. It's just me today. It, it's just me, um, just your boy, Alex. Uh, we had some difficulties with getting other guys on. Um, Sundays are usually a little harder. So um, today, we're just going to be running through a quick tier list of Major League Baseball uniforms. Um, that's more in honor of how horrible these Fanatics uniforms are and how Fanatics is even ruining the NFL. Um, if you want to know how that's happening, go check out our socials. Um, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share, put put the episode on for your dog at home, put the episode on for your guinea pig or, or your fish or whatever, throw it on at work in the background, get those watch hours up, um, check out all of our other episodes and go to chaoticallyintolerant.com as well. And uh, let's go. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into this thing. Um, I really appreciate a really good uniform. I, I know some people are kind of like, eh, they're okay. Like, the uniform doesn't really matter. It's laundry. I don't care. If you look good, I'm just always going to think your team might be a little bit better, right? Like, you look at a team like the Cardinals. Like, they have a gorgeous, gorgeous jersey, right? They're, like, they they were horrible last year. But, you know... You think of it like you think about the Cardinals, you're like, oh, they're just great. They're, obviously, they are a historically great organization. Even the athletics, like I love the athletics uniforms. These are, and we're doing the home uniforms as well. Um, this list, I think, is a little dated because it does have the Indians um, as one. I, I don't know how, because I, I want to come at this strategically, right? You, you want to come at this thing a little strategically. I think I want to start out with the Fs. I think I just want to, I want to get those out of the way. And, you know, I think baseball, it's its really hard for an F. Um, I think a lot of these are, are pretty good. Honestly, like, there's really not a, a too bad one. I want to throw the White Sox in there. First off, the Yankees are pinstripes. Like, the, the black pinstripes, that's the Yankees. Okay? So the White Sox are just kind of stealing it, even though they're, you know, I mean, I'm sure there are other teams. Um, but your name isn't symmetrical. White socks, like you look at the red socks, and I'm literally wearing it right now. You can do red socks three and three, right? I don't like the socks up here. I don't like it on the heart. I don't like the number being there. That's really odd to me. Just not a big fan of it whatsoever. Um, so I'm gonna throw them there. Plus, just black and white. Is that all you got? It's it's quite boring to me, and especially they're the white socks, and I feel like their more primary color is black. So. Yeah, they really are the Black Sox. I mean, to me, the name Black Sox makes more sense. Um, and we're also going based on these pictures as well. So if there's, you know, some other home jersey or whatever, we're just going with this. These are the home jerseys. Um, staying in the Fs, you know, I got to go with the Nationals, too. They, they're following that same kind of thing, you know, that, that the White Sox are doing with that with that bottom 20 and then the, the bigger logo. Now, I do like it when they do have the little stripe running down the middle. So that is nice. Red and white. I like red a lot for, for baseball, but I just really hate that. It is just, to me, it's very unoriginal. It really, to me, it looks like an alternate. It looks like it should be an alternate. Um, obviously, you can't put white socks on there. It doesn't look right. Um, but you could put nationals. I think that's very easy. They had them. They had the old nationals jerseys. Um, they have, you know, you can put Washington over the front too if you want. Um, although that is, you know, that's not exactly normal for a home Jersey, you know, I, I know a lot of people actually rank like the Indians really low. I, I'm okay with them. Guardians, Indians, it's the, the uniform is pretty much the same to me. Uh, I hate Miami. I think a part of Miami just being so bad is the fact that they're not taking advantage of the old uniforms of that old branding. That is just so much better. It is just the the Josh Beckett early Miggy years. Those are just 100 percent better. I I don't know why they ever changed. Don't get it. Um, I think how many are there? So there we got six. So you have room for five. Although you're probably gonna have more in the in the C and B area. So I think we're good with the F's. The, those are the bottom three for me. Uh, what's so ha, again? How do you define a D? Or do we want to go? Do we want to go all the way up and and go with our best ones? I I love the Mariners. I think the color scheme is awesome. I think you have the little, you have the little uh, 
whatever it is emblem above the M there. Um, the Mariners is just, I think, is a great uniform. I also really love putting the patch on the side. I, I love having a patch on the side of the uniform. It's awesome. Um, just the home whites and the blue, and, and it just fits the city, too. I feel like it really fits the city. You know, because a lot of teams, like, sometimes you look at these teams and it just does not fit the city. Even the, like the White Sox. I, I feel like it's because they are like that little, kind of the little brother to the Cubs. Where you're like, okay, Cubs are, you know, Chicago is, I always think blue when it comes to Chicago. Like that's, at least Chicago baseball, I think blue. Like some of these cities, it just doesn't match. Like Kansas City, color-wise, I don't know if blue matches for, for that type of city. Uh, like Minnesota, they're kind of hanging around. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people have the Blue Jays really, really high up. And they're a great uniform. I love the blue as well. I don't think part of it is the symmetry. It's not. It's just not symmetry or symmetrical. Blue Jays. Um, never mind. Am I wrong? I'm an idiot. I'm just I'm just an idiot. I'm, I'm a stupid person um, th that is absolutely symmetrical. I thought they spelled it blue J. I'm stupid. I'm still not throwing it in there. I'm still not throwing it in there. Again, I love the simplicity of, of a uniform. I love the simplicity. Maybe tiny little details added here and there. Having that logo on the bottom is just a little too much. It's a little too much there. Uh, the Rockies. I mean, the Rockies are gorgeous. The, the purple. They're the only purple team in baseball. And they are just gorgeous. They do. They literally do everything right except for play baseball. They have a great stadium, great uniform, great name, like the Rockies, great name, um, but just not good. Not good. And I think I'm actually breaking my rule with symmetry here, but the purple pinstripes just does it for me. Where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Um, I'm going to say I really love the Giants. The Giants have a great uniform. I think the orange as well. Um, I think it's, it's a gorgeous orange. It just, it fits everything the, the and they haven't changed it because they don't need to change it. Like, why do you ever need to change the Giants uniforms? You just don't, you don't have to, it's gorgeous. And there, there's so much history behind it. You know, there, there's so much there's, there, you can, I mean, I mean, I'm just mention Willie Mays. That's it. That's the only guy I have to talk about. Barry Bonds again. All right, I think I'm going to throw one more in S tier. If I can find something that really, really sticks out to me, uh, it's got to be the Cardinals. Eh, I don't know. I, I'm like kind of tempted to pick the Brewers just because of the cream color. I, I love a cream jersey. They don't really do it yet. Yeah, no other team really has the cream except for the Giants, um, which it works really well. I guess I would want a little bit more of a different color. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're going to throw the Brewers. I love the cream. I think I think the Brewers as well, just beer, um, the whole thing about it. That's the only Rockies and Brewers, the numbers and the Cardinals, I guess. I, I guess I'm breaking some rules today. I'm breaking some rules about what I just like to look at. Uh, so I'm going to throw the Cardinals up there. Now we have a little bit of a mess here. We have it. I, it's going to be really difficult. I, I'm going to go with the Rangers as an A tier here. I, I really like the Rangers. I like I really like the rebrand. They went to more of that retro look. Um Let's see. You know, as much as I hate the Yankees, the way those pinstripes look on field, it's gorgeous. And especially under the lights, I think it looks really, really good. It's it's really, really fucking good. Man, this is a tough one. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Guardians, Indians, and in like a D tier. I something I really don't know why. It's just something about the red the like the red with the blue outline. I'm not a massive fan of that type. like i don't i'm not a massive fan of the blue outline i feel like if you're going to go with an outline it's got to be black right it has to be black um and the blue it just doesn't make any sense to me uh you know i don't i don't really like i mean i'll say this I, i'm not i'm not a big fan of like these d-backs uniforms yeah i'm not a big fan of these d-back uniforms because of the dash I really don't like the dash. If if they went with Diamondbacks across the front, and you know, it maybe looks a little long, but I think you can make it work if you do Diamondbacks across the front. Uh, maybe like a little snake for the eye, uh, a coiled up snake for the eye, but D-backs, and that's 
I mean, that's not even your real name, right? Like, that's your nickname. Um, you can either do the logo like the Yankees do, and they do it really well. There's a lot of history behind it as well. Um, but look at every other team here. Dodgers, Blue Jays, Mets, which obviously they're the Metropolitans, but they're they're the Mets. Like, they're, they are the New York Mets. Uh, Padres, Philly, I mean, every single team here, Reds. They don't have a dash. They don't have anything like that. It's either their logo or their actual name. So D-backs, I, I like the color scheme. I think it fits the desert really well. I really like that aspect of it. Um, but I'm just going to sit them in the D tier. Uh, what's something that's just so bleh? It's so bleh. Like the Reds, the Rays, the Pirates. Eh, I'm, I'm actually not going to. I'm going to give the Pirates a B tier. Uh, again, I like the yellow. The, there's not a lot of yellow in baseball. Maybe I can, I mean, I could bump them, yeah, but it's just kind of bland. Again, it's it's a little bland to me. There's not much else going on besides that. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep them in B tier. But again, we can move these around if we find, hey, I like something a little better here. I like something a little better here. I like something a little worse here. Um, the Rays are, are like a C tier. There, there's really, I like the Devil Rays better. The Reds. No, just, just no. Why are they not lower? <laughs> I don't even know why I put them in C tier. Tigers, it's, it's, it's meh. I mean, it's, it's nothing special. You, you don't look at a Tigers uniform and say, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Same thing with the Angels. Um, the Angels, I, I think it also has to do with, I mean, they're the little brother to the Dodgers. So, uh, the Athletics, I love the Athletics. Uh, I'm going to throw them in a B tier here. Uh, but the athletics, I, I love green and gold as well. You look at, there's a lot of blue out there. There's a lot of red out there, but you don't have a ton of orange. You have three orange. Uh, I mean, look at, look at all these. It's all blue, red. You have one yellow, one green. So I'll, I think just because of the color, I think the Orioles look really good on like a hot summer day. The the Orioles, like for some reason, maybe it's because I grow up, I grew up near their spring training facility. So I've kind of been here. I've seen it. A lot, especially in this in the spring heat, um, the Orioles have a great, great uniform, home uniform. Uh, the Phillies, mm, Braves have a really good one too. I, I'm gonna throw them in the A tier. I love the tomahawk underneath. Tomahawk looks really good there. Uh, the Cubbies, I don't know. The Dodgers aren't aren't the Dodgers like are they? To me, they feel a little bleh as well like i know there's a lot of history behind it but I feel like it's it, it it hangs around with the pirates and the athletics i mean it's not bad but i think the way that the dodgers uniforms are talked about as well as as gorgeous it's just not the case maybe maybe i'm just i have dodger fatigue maybe that that could be it i, I don't know um okay still have left to rank the red Sox, royals Twins, you know, I really like the the Joe Mauer era Twins unis. I, I think these are kind of kind of bleh to me. These are kind of boring. The those two thousands Twins uniforms were a lot better. I think they did the red pinstripes really well. Red Sox, Royals. Uh, I feel like the Mets do it well. You know, as much as people want to shit on the Mets, I, I actually like the orange outline with the blue lettering. Um, and the different colored pinstripes that you, I think you do have to try and match the Yankees as much as you can. Padres are like a D tier to me. I hate the Padres uniforms. Padres uniforms are ugly. They are ugly. Blue Jays. I mean, I like them. Do I love them? Absolutely not. Yeah, they're okay. Cubs do pinstripes really well too. Cubs do pinstripes really, really well. Um, they, they'll sit in the A tier. Phillies. I think the red on red. It's all red. It's it's too much red. I'm going to drop it to the C just because it's too much red. You have red logo, red numbering, red pinstripes. I get all of your colors are red, but I think you could have thrown a little different, a, a little bit of a different color in there versus like the Cubs. You have a red and blue, like you have a little bit of difference here. Nothing's different. Nothing has changed whatsoever here. Uh, and then finally, the Red Sox and Royals. Honestly, I think Royals are pretty good. I like the Royal Blue. You know, the Red Sox, as a Red Sox fan, I find it very difficult to style for the Red Sox. I, I find that the uniforms, maybe I'm just not a red guy as well. 
Uh, but they're also, I mean, the Red Sox are more like red and blue to me. They're, they're red, white, and blue. Whenever I think of the Red Sox, they're also red, white, and blue, which a lot of teams are. I mean, you have, you have the Cubs, Red Sox, Twins are red, white, and blue. Indians, red, white, and blue. Uh, Nationals, of course, are red, white, and blue. Uh, not the Angels. Dodgers, you have a little bit of red there on the jersey. Uh, Blue Jays, a little bit of red there. And they also do the Canada Day uniforms, which are just completely red. Braves, red, white, and blue. Rangers, red, white, and blue. That's actually going to make me drop the Rangers. Yeah. Uh, eh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to drop the Ro- the Orioles a little bit. I mean, they're nice, right? The, the Orioles uniforms are nice. No, I, I just keep second-guessing myself here. Tearing is difficult. Tearing is really, really difficult. And again, I hope you guys have kind of tiered along with me um, as as we go through this list. So right now... We have the Mariners, Rockies, Giants, Brewers, and Cardinals in S tier. The Brewers seem a little out of place, don't they? They just feel a little out of place. I feel like if I drop them to A, that would be okay. Yeah, that would be fine. Um, A tier, Rangers, Yankees, Braves, Mets, Cubs, and Brewers now. Uh, again, every time I read through, I feel like I'm like, somebody doesn't deserve to be there. Like, somebody should either be higher or lower. Like, I, I almost feel like the Yankees should be higher. Oh, like, again, they're, they're just the Yankee uniform. It's it's blue and white. Like, they're the black, obviously, like, the black, the Yankee pinstripes. Like, that's that's it. That That's all, that's all the uniqueness that you have from the New York Yankees. And it's just, it's just a microcosm of their entire organization as they're boring. They're bankers. They're businessmen. That's how they treat baseball. And that's not how you want it to be. You want to have a little pop. You want to have a little bit of life in your uniforms, right? And I think those S tiers especially have extra life in our in their uniforms. They have the orange. You have the Mariners with, with the blue and, and all those like pops of blue. You have purple with the Rockies and the Cardinals with the Redbirds. So, yeah. Um, Pirates, Athletics, Dodgers, Blue Jays. Royals and Orioles in B tier. Rays, Tigers, Twins, Phillies, and Red Sox in C tier. Again, I think a lot of these B and C, they're really interchangeable. Um, I, there was just like a few very minor things. Uh, like the Red Sox really just haven't changed anything in the last whatever years. Phillies, all red. Too much red for me. Twins, really wish they went back to the old ones. Um, the Tigers, just a D. Like, I think you could do Tigers across the front. I, I would like Tigers better. Um, and the Rays, it's just so gimmicky. They're, they're always so gimmicky. The Rays are just a, a one big gimmick, in my opinion. Um, they try and do the money ball thing, and it just doesn't work out for them. And then they try and claim, like, Wade Boggs as a Devil Ray. Like, a Devil Ray for life. Like, no, you're not, buddy. Um, all right, D tier. Indians, Diamondbacks, Angels, and... Padres, Guardians, Indians, it's all the same. Um, I really don't like the blue outline on it. I, I really don't. I, I think the blue outline is just ugly. It really just does not fit. Um, D-backs, I just want the diamond backs on it. Find a way. But having a dash in your jersey just doesn't work. Angels, again, just bleh. It's fine. It's, it's, it's whatever. And then the Padres, I mean, like, some, it almost reminds me of mustard. Like I'm looking at Dijon mustard. Somebody just spilled Dijon mustard on this entire jersey. Uh, and then F tier, the White Sox, Nationals, Marlins, and the Reds. Um, three of these have the logo up on the left side and the number on the right side. Miami got it. We got that grade um, because they won't go back to the old Florida Marlin uniforms. That's it. That's the only reason they really got it. They're so ugly. They're these are horrible. These are a disgrace to Major League Baseball, in my opinion. Um, it's they're like trying to do the Miami Vice thing without doing the Miami Vice thing, which makes no sense. If you're going to do Miami Vice, like do Miami Vice, be the be the Miami Heat, do the Miami Vice thing. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess let us know in the comments where you went, where I went wrong. I'm sure I got some wrong. Um, but I, I honestly, like, I feel like people are going to really hate me for the Yankees or the Braves, maybe even the Cubs. 
cuts. I think like keeping, I think the A tiers and the Dodgers, I think the Dodgers or the Athletics, I don't know, man. I could be wrong in every single place. I have absolutely no clue. Um, I'm I'm doing what I think is right. So uh, thank you for listening to this quick episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, watch the whole thing. Um, I think in a couple of weeks, we're going to try and get Max Chadwick back on talking the NFL draft. So um, again, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on Thursday.